Hi, and welcome back. So in this uh, unit, uh, we're going to start working with uh, trying to add a network to uh, the model, right? And that was the challenge I left you with at the end of the last uh, video, the last model. So um, there are a number of ways you could do it. So, I mean, you know, right now, if you look at the model, just to kind of refresh your memory, right? Um, it's actually basically just adopting based upon the overall pattern of adoption. That's not a very, first of all, it's not a very agent-based model way of things to do anything. We usually like to avoid global information, right? Uh, but the other thing is, you know, we know in reality people don't actually look at like all the people who've adopted and make a decision. They look at like their social neighbors and their social network, right? Um, so what we want to build up that, we want to start to build up the code to help out with that social network. So the first thing we have to do to do that is actually add a network between the agents. So if we go up to the setup procedure, right, we can go right below where we created the agents. And we have to do this after we create the agents because we need the agents out there to actually connect them, right? We can add some code, create a network of agents, right? We can add some code that will actually create that network. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask all, each of the turtles to create a link with one of the other turtles. And this is one of the reasons why I love NetLogo is that sign, that line right there looks exactly like how you would say it, right? So the command is create link with, and create link with um, creates a generic uh, non-directed link between two agents, right? Um, you can also do create link to or create link from, or you can create a directed link. Um, you can also create link breeds. Links are agents just like turtles and patches are. And so you could have, you know, create friendship with, right? But you'd have to create that breed ahead of time, right? In this case, we're just gonna use a standard default create link with. Um, other turtles, other takes a, a set, uh, an agent set and removes the current agent from the agent set, right? So um, this is just gonna be turtles besides the turtle who's actually uh, currently executing. And then one of them is just gonna choose one of them randomly. So it's gonna be one of the agents who's not myself, right? Now, let's see if that actually worked. If we hit set up and hit go, right? Set up and go, right? You can see the network, right? And one thing, by the way, I did this just before we started this, but um, if yours looks a little different, it might be because you have world wrapping turned on. So you can turn that, if, if, if that's the case, then it's gonna look like this, right? And sometimes the links are gonna go around the world. That, that makes it a little hard to see who, who the links are between. So I highly recommend, uh, for this model at least, turning world wrapping off, right? And once you do that, the links will redirect inside of the, of the world, right? It makes it much easier to see them, okay? So it looks like we're creating the social network correctly, but what if we want to verify that? It's always important to try and verify each of your steps. So one of the things we could do is we could check to see how many links there are. Now, there's 50 agents in the model. Each one is created a link, so we would expect there to be 50 links, right? So let's take show count links. Oh, and there's only 47. Well, you know, maybe something's going wrong. We can, we can check again. Let's do it one more time. Oh, and now there's 49. 48, 49, 50, at least that one got it right, right? So why do sometimes we not have um, the full 50 links? Well, this has to do with one of the things that we're doing in this code, right? In this code, if you look at it, we're having each of the turtles create a link with one of the other turtles. Now, it could be possible that two of the same turtles choose each other, right? So let's imagine turtle zero creates a link with turtle one and then create, turtle one decides to create a link back with turtle zero. Because of the way NetLogo works, rather than creating two links because they're non-directional, it actually only, the second time it create link with, um, uh, is called, it basically fails um, silently and doesn't tell you that it's not gonna create that second link, right? In most cases, this is what you want it to do, so it's fine. Uh, but it's something you should be aware of if you if you if you're expecting it to be exactly the right at the same time every time, right? So that's one way to easily kind of create a random network. Now, but we're still not adopting based upon the social network, right? So that's the next step. Well, now we have to adopt based on the social network. So let's go down to where the adoption code is. And you know it's not gonna affect the broadcast influence, that happens regardless of the social network, but we want it to affect the, the, the social influence, right? So it says adopt based on social influence, and we can say from or you know, based on 
a network. Okay. And the mean code here is this count turtles with adopted divided by count turtles, right? So rather than having based upon all of the turtles in the model, now we want to base it upon just our, our link, our, our neighbors, right? And in, um, in NetLogo, there's an easy way to do that. Well, first of all, we can get how many neighbors we have by just saying let total neighbors be link neighbors. And link neighbors is a built-in command that reports all of the turtles who are connected to you by links, right? And there's also in link neighbors and out link neighbors and all those kind of things as well, right, to get that. So now we want to replace count turtles with count total neighbors, right? But we still haven't fixed this top half the numerator of our division, right, which is currently count turtles with adopted. So what do we want to do? We actually want to say let neighbors adopted, so these are the neighbors who have adopted, be link neighbors with adopted, right? So this will only return those link neighbors who are adopted. Now it's still an agent set, right? Like, and so we have to, in order to actually make it work, we have to say let, we have to count the number of neighbors who have adopted. Right? And, you know, we could move this up into this local variable up here and just have the counts be there and not have the count down here. That's all fine and good. This is just the way I happen to write this particular version of the model, right? Okay, so now we should have social influence working, right? Um, let's see if it does. And sure enough, um, it seems to, and it seems to modify the pattern of adoptions, right? We saw more of an S-shaped curve before, and now we see more of a linear curve. And that's to do with the fact that because we have a lot less influence, right, um, it's taking, um, it, it happens in a different way, right? Because we're only influenced by our social neighbors, not the whole network, right? And so as a result, the, the, the um, evolution is, is a little bit different of the dynamics, right? Moreover, it's taking a little bit longer to run to completion, right? Like in, in general, we were seeing like 10 to 20 ticks before. Now we're seeing more like 20 to 30 in most cases, or 45 in this case, right? Um, so that's kind of also typical. So it appears that our code is working correctly. I will mention, you know, there's two things that if you wanted to kind of do on your own that would be useful to do this model. One would be, you know, as I mentioned, if you create the links back and forth, it's going to not create one of the links. One of the ways you around that would be to add a check that says don't create a link with a turtle that you already have as a member of your link neighbors, right? And I'll leave it to you to kind of write that code. Um, it's not super complex. It's fairly easy to do, uh, but you might want to look into that, right? And the other thing is like, even though we kind of think that the social influence code is working correctly based upon the fact that our model changed a little bit, um, we don't have any real hard proof. Uh, so if you want, I would suggest, you know, just seeing if this social influence makes sense the way it's being calculated. And you can do that using the inspect of the agents and kind of going through how it, what you think it would calculate it out and whether or not it actually calculates out. Okay, well that's it for now. When I come back, I want to show you how to modify this for the, the next model. In the next model, what we're gonna look at is, um, so every time we hit setup now, the whole network gets destroyed, right? Well, what if we want the network to remain constant, right, so that we can experiment with the same network but with different diffusions over the same network? So we're gonna play around with that in the next model. And then the model after that, one of the things that's kind of a limitation of this model is it's a completely random network. Right? And we know that's not realistic, that human social networks are different than random networks. Uh, and so in the model after that, we're going to play around with adding a more realistic social network. Okay, thanks. Okay, so here's your goal uh, for model five. Um, I want you to try and figure out a way to add a new button to the interface uh, that will allow you to run this, uh, different diffusions on the same network multiple times. Right? So this allows you to keep the network constant and just alter the diffusion properties and see how that affects the diffusion process. Right? This is something you commonly do in agent-based modeling. Right? You want to hold certain things constant while you modify other things. Um, and so sometimes you, know, you, want the, the, you don't want to completely destroy the world. You only want to destroy parts of the world. Uh, and so think about how you might do that. And when I come back, I'll show you how I did it. Okay.